I feel like Perry Merling is going, I don't know if I want to be your advisor because you are such a asshole racist. And see, when I, when I said that about Barack Obama, like he doesn't need to be Einstein. I honestly, I don't, I, I, I you know what I believe that like, I can go look at the history of in, inventions, which William Cullen refrigeration machine, James Hargraves, the spinning Jenny, James Watt, the steam engine, Oh, the improved steam engine with a uh, separate condenser. Joseph Priestley, carbonated water. Like, and then <clears throat> you go really into hyd hydraulic press. Joseph Brahma, uh, plywood. Samuel Bentham, the s smallpox vaccine. Edward Jenner. Like these are like I don't know. Like once you once you get really into it, they're they're all white, one hundred percent. And um, uh, the internal combustion engine. Francois Isaac de Rizaz, fueled by hydrogen. That was in eighteen oh seven. Uh, the canning process, Nicholas Appert, uh, Friedrich Koenig, the printing press, the first powered printing press. It's like, it's, it's, it's very clear that they're all, but the thing about Barack Obama is, is he smarter than me in a politics way? He is. He's way better than me at, at politics. And could he tell me when I'm offensive? William Sturgeon, the electromagnet, Patrick Bell, the reaping machine, and William Mann, the air compressor, the lawnmower by Edwin Budding. The Electromagnetic Magnetic Induction by Michael Faraday. Ooh, Faraday, I know that name. Uh, Samuel Morse, Morse Code. Uh, Morse, I, I could get really... Steam Hammer, James Nasmith. Okay, once you get really into this, then you realize they are all white. And, um, and everything that we have is based on Thomas Edison, the phonograph, which Thomas Edison, gosh, you want to get into his inventions, um, that you can get. The Four Stroke Cycle, Nicholas August Otto. Alexander Graham Bell, the telephone, um, binary, uh, I don't know who invented binary, what's his name, can't remember, but, um, those are peop the, pe the people at Bell Labs, but are they white, or can they be, like, but they're, like, European, which is, like, tan and white, um, so they're still white, uh, I, I mean, I, I consider Israel a white country, even though it's, um, it's, the, 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 a lot of them look, Penicillin by, um, it's not about the way you look. It's about, there's a tendency of certain people with certain heritage to invent things. Um, like James Martin, who invented the ejector seat. Who cares about that? Um, but it's, it's, once you get really, I'm, I'm telling you, I, it, the reason, World, World Wide Web uh, by uh, Sir Tim Berners, Berners Lee. Um, Flash Memory was invented by Japan. The Japanese invented something. Japanese started inventing stuff, and that's the thing. They invented the pocket calculator. Um, but Kevlar was invented by Stephanie Kualuk at DuPont. Um, the first functioning laser by Theodore Maiman. Um, all I'm saying is, like, we have, white people have a very strong tendency to invent new things, and um, none of the other races do. But, um, d like I've said it in the past, I'm very not a white nationalist. Like one of the best things about this country is that we bring in all these different cultures and we, um, we we do incredible things with it. And like I was saying, uh, could a black lawyer be way way better than a white lawyer? Barack Obama, dude, listen to him talk. He's better at talking than me. Am I bad at talking? My most important eco economic advisor is going to be my economist. Of course, he's going to be your economist. Yeah, it's because I'm not very good at talking. I'm a terrible talker. I'm I'm. In my mind, I'm the guy that could theoretically invent JPEG compression um, and invent all kinds of stuff. And um, but um, I'm not um, I'm not a talker. But um, Barack Obama, like when I say he could be a really good vice president, specifically if he was involved with blackmailing Donald Trump, I'm serious. Like I would I I would I like he, he it would be hard to beat him because he's still he's not that old yet. And he is a lawyer, and he does know all the ways of getting around the Constitution. Um, because, like, I think the Constitution's the Constitution, and some people believe the Constitution's a, a, an object to get around. And I think that if we're trying to solve the energy crisis, we might have to view the Constitution as something we have to try to get around. Um, but what I was trying to say is, I'm going to, like, for now on, I'm going to try way harder not to be offensive. I know, like, to gay people, gay people... Like, gosh, I, I say things that's just like, because, I don't know, I, I don't know why I say the things I say. Like, it's unbelievable how I'm, like, the biggest gay rights advocate in the history of the world. 
but then I'm also like the most offensive person ever. And I don't know how to stop that. It's because I'm not meant to be in politics, but that's why I don't understand why I'm the guy that's chosen to try to solve the energy crisis. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to do better. 